So I've been getting a lot of comments and queries regarding the next exam and I've also been seeing it on other videos and other groups. And I have a few things to say about it. Now I wasn't willing to comment on this because I didn't want to add to the existing uncertainty but I think that I have to say some things. Besides, I think that I'm in a position to speak about this issue because I've been in a similar situation once in the past. Let me explain. So let me take you back to 2016 when I had given the NEET UG exam and secured an All India rank of 1061. But it wasn't as simple as that. That was the year when the AIPMT to NEET shift happened. So before 2012, the exam for admission to UG courses used to be AIPMT, that is All India Pre-Medical Test. This used to be conducted in two parts and this was for admission to the 15% All India quota seats and for the rest of the state seats, the states used to conduct their respective PMTs. But in 2012, the authorities decided that they are going to bring up a common exam for admission to all medical colleges across the country, that is the NEET exam. But as usual, because of all the oppositions and the politics, this decision was deferred and AIPMT was the only exam held. And ultimately, in 2016, the final verdict was made. But the decision that NEET is going to be conducted wasn't clearly communicated even two days before the exam. So what that planned that time was to conduct NEET UG in two parts, part 1 and part 2. The part 1 exam being held on May 1st and part 2 on July 24th. But even two days before the May 1st exam, notices were coming in regarding the uncertainty of AIPMT versus NEET. In fact, all the aspirants that had appeared for the May 1st exam were not clear whether they are sitting for AIPMT or NEET. And even after this May 1st exam, the court cases were still going on. Now amidst all of this uncertainty, what did I do? I just kept preparing for the exam, working on myself and I secured a good rank 1061 and got into a good medical college. And so in the present now when I see this next situation, it reminds me back of those same days. And trust me guys, the advice that I'll give on this is don't pay a lot of attention to all of this news and continue with your preparation. I mean just think about it, neat or next. The subjects are the same, they are the same 19 subjects, the pattern is going to be clinical. The only thing that is changing is the way in which they are conducting the exam. So earlier it used to be that after NEET UG you would get admission to MBBS, after that you will do your internship and after internship you would appear for NEET PG before getting admission into post graduation. Now what they have proposed is that after NEET UG and MBBS, you will first give the next step one, only after that you will be able to do your internship and after your internship is done, you'll finally give the next phase two and that is when you'll be able to get admission into PG courses. But despite all of this, the syllabus remains the same. It's the same 19 subjects. The question pattern is most likely going to be clinical. Also think about why they're trying to introduce this kind of a pattern. Their purpose, I think, is to produce better clinicians for the country. They're practically trying to copy USMLE. The USMLE exam also has step one and step two and they are trying to conduct it in a similar manner here. Anyway, my advice is just keep going with your studies. Because the basic pillars, the basic principles still remain the same. You'll have to read your notes, clear your concepts, keep concising your notes as you go ahead, practice previous questions and keep giving grand tests or mock tests. All of that still remains the same. And let me tell you something, even in 2022 when I was preparing for NEET, rumors were circulating that the next exam is going to be conducted in 2023 itself. But that didn't happen. So even the authorities are unsure about how they're going to conduct the exam and how they're going to implement it. I prefer to see it as a non-modifiable risk factor, something that you can't control. Now I understand that this is creating a lot of uncertainty, but what is the point of worrying about something that you can't control? You should instead focus on what is in your hands, that is your preparation and working on yourself. And even if some update is announced about next or the pattern, it will be easier for you to change tracks if you have already started preparation and are halfway through it, as compared to someone who got lost in all of this news and let it affect their preparation. So the bottom line is, don't worry too much about the next updates and how it is going to be conducted and all the things that are not in your hands. Do what is in your hands, that is, keep preparing. That's all I had to say about this topic. I hope it gave you some clarity and motivated you to keep working towards your goal. And that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.